This is not a llama. This is a stuffed animal alpaca, otherwise known by the name alpacaso. They are created by the Japanese company Amuse for arcade crane games. And they've gained popularity worldwide, and they're usually found in conventions. They come in a variety of sizes, from ones that can fit in the palm of your hand to ones that are the size of small children. This is my goal after I graduate to get one of these. My name is Emily Nguyen, and I bring small alpacasos to school. This basically means I am an overgrown child. Now, let's get into the whole thing with the alpacas. Sure, I love stuffed animals, but why alpacas? Before this entire thing I did with bringing alpacas to school, I knew absolutely nothing about alpacas. And somehow we've gone from that point to deciding prematurely that my retirement plan will be running an alpaca farm. Well, people are always asking me, what's up with alpacas? Why do you do this? I've always avoided a direct answer until now, because I think it's a bit of a long story. When I was in third grade, we had an assignment. What do you like to collect? Well, for me, collecting implies an interest or a passion, the commitment to something that you love. And being eight years old, I didn't really like to collect, well, anything. I just read a lot, and collecting words in your head, unfortunately, does not count. But what I did have were all these stuffed animals just scattered around my room, hiding under the blankets and in the bookshelf, and sleeping with dust bunnies under the bed. So I hunted and scavenged them out, brought them to school, and thought that would be it. And then high school happened. High school was a very stressful and tiring time. And during a stressful period of my life, I decided to bring alpacas to school with me for emotional support. But I quickly found out that not only were these alpacas helping me cope with the stresses of high school, but they were also helping my friends. My friends would come up to me and ask to pet the alpaca or hug them before a test. And before long, even strangers who I didn't even know were coming up to me, asking me if they could pet my alpacas. And we laugh and joke about it, but even if it's for a moment, we're just being happy. The role of alpacas in my life is, whatever. The role of alpacas in my life, they're a little bit of good luck, and they're a little bit of courage to step outside of my comfort zone. They empower me to be a little silly and be myself. And I believe that if I helped someone just laugh and enjoy and be happy for even just once, then it will have been enough. My collection of alpacas has started initially from just a couple. My brother likes to stack them up because he's weird like that. Sometimes I get up bootlegs, and they're a bit derpy. Unfortunately, the smaller the alpacas are, the more clearly you can tell that they're bootlegs. And the most often asked question I get is, how many alpacas do you have? Well, this many. But plus one, because I went to Little Tokyo today, and I bought another one. So. I'm happy that I get to spread the love and awareness of alpacas, and also I get to warn against misidentification of alpacas as llamas, because that's a serious crime in my book. But the one thing I've learned from alpacas are that you should keep things that allow you to create opportunities for happiness, and that it's never too late to find something to love. Thank you. <laughs>